Two-man advantage for the Penguins. Malkin with a slip shot, save made, rebound. Oh, what a stop. I think the defenseman Segura got over to Mock the second shot. I was born in Sacramento, California, a native Californian, believe it or not. There aren't a whole lot of them. In fact, my family actually goes back to the gold rush days uh, of uh, people that were, were there. From the time I was nine years old, I had an idea what I wanted to do. Uh, I've been mesmerized by the, the broadcasters of the San Francisco Giants, uh, Russ Hodges and Lon Simmons. And, and uh, my brain kind of gravitated towards the descriptive part of it. And at that time, basically everything was radio. So uh, it just intrigued me. And I, I, I would sit hour after hour and listen to games. I went to Sacramento City College and I went to Sacramento State College. And I uh, ended up with a degree in broadcasting uh, with an emphasis in speech. And uh, then I had to make my way through the jungle and uh, try and find a job. And that wasn't easy at that time. That was back in 1970. And, uh, jobs were tough to get. When I was in uh, a senior in, in college, uh, one of my roommates had a good friend who was from San Francisco who had worked with the SEALs. And one day out of the blue, he, he said to me, uh, why don't you uh, come out and see a hockey game here in Sacramento? And I said, uh, Leonard, I, I said, I mean, I, I have a blue line, red line, I, I have no idea what hockey's about. Leonard said to me, you never know. And I actually did play-by-play -play in the building. That's how I got a little bit of skill from that. And I kept those tapes. And lo and behold, those were the tapes that I sent to Phoenix, Arizona when I first had an opportunity to maybe get a job in, in broadcasting and hockey. And I'm thankful that I was uh, taken to that rink and taught a little bit about hockey. I went to work sending tapes out, not only in hockey, but in baseball. And uh, we kind of got a, just a, a feel that there might be something here in Pittsburgh. And I contacted KDKA Radio and uh, sent the tapes, and uh, with uh, a little luck, they asked me to, uh, to come to Pittsburgh. Frankly, I tell people all the time that uh, I'm the only one that took the covered wagon and went back east. You know, everybody else to a quest. I went the other way. My goal was to be in the major leagues by the time I was 26 years old, and I hit it right on the money. But it is a, a unique experience to take the next step up, and. I was a little kid who was nervous and by himself and uh, just me and an engineer and all the radio equipment. Penguin center ice been working right down the slot, a wrist shot and a stick save made by goaltender Miller to the near left point. The first game that I worked was uh, Pierre LaRousse's uh, rookie year. Uh, in that game, I can remember Pierre scoring on a breakaway goal and uh, uh, beat Cesar Maniago and that's just a, a memory that will never leave you. It was the first game and he said, we did okay. Back check from behind, but did get the puck to center. Roy with a little shovel pass right side. It comes left side to Gerby. Back in front, he's trying to return it to Stanford. One too many passes. Personally, the broadcast industry for me has never been so much as the pain of dues. I'm doing something I love to do, so I, I, you know, I'm so fortunate. And it was never a matter of work for me. It was just a matter of learning. I'm a little kid. Uh, with, uh, with a big microphone. <laughs> Wristing one, and it's stopped by Miller. What a save he just made on Chris Letang. Wow. And I can remember Harry Carey, when I did baseball, walking in and seeing things that I had written down and going, what's all this about? And I said, well, you gotta make sure you're in prepared. You have to understand hockey people. We're all locked into the same basic thing, okay? All right, Borky. Okay, Mikey. Whether it be home or whether it be away, we're all pretty much standardized as far as how we approach that day, the game. What's the scoop? What's going on? For hockey, it starts uh, on a morning skate. The both teams will come down and skate in, in usual situations. Uh, 10 in the morning, and we'll start. We'll get down here around 10. We're back 20 years. That, you did, in, the, in the scope of things, a 5'6", five, 5'7", five, guy fits more than a guy now 5'6". You know, I mean, it's just, everybody's so much bigger. And then we'll watch Pittsburgh skate if they're at home, and we'll have a little meeting as far as what we want to do with our broadcast that night. What are you going to need for your, for your show tonight? We also will go down to the room, uh, the, the Penguin locker room, and uh, get the sound from uh, the team. Okay, we're gonna go downstairs. Let's see what we can get. That's 
so you're off this link. Says it please stay off the logo. That's a new thing now. Can't be on the logo. When you get a second band on sneak you, yeah. yeah. It's a pretty big night in your life, uh, getting a chance to play in the National Hockey League. A huge night. I'm uh, really excited. A little, a little, definitely a little nervous, but uh, it, it, it's definitely exciting. There's some, some pretty special talent in the room, and uh, my goal is to go out and defend as best I can, uh, move my feet, and uh, hopefully hopefully uh, keep it simple. See the gleam in his eye? You can't measure that. You can't measure that. When they go over the first one, it's just like... It's priceless. It absolutely is priceless. You make that one step further up, and it's like, no, oh, am I ready for this? And then you start, and you go, yeah, I think I fit. I think I'm going to be all right. And then we'll visit uh, the visiting uh, team and watch them skate. I don't see, I don't see Reve out there. Okay. Seven, yeah. So we'll wait yeah. on the defensive pairs. Okay. Matter. And then we go and uh, do a little work for about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes while we eat lunch. Uh, we make a stop at a certain place that I usually go to. Hey, D. What's going right, on, man? Up, Doing all right? Another hockey night in Pittsburgh, huh? Yeah, it is. You know, I got to go through stats, and I got to figure out first goals, overtime, everything involved, scores, plus, minus. Every, I just write all those down. And plus, they write little things about them, circle them, do them, and then I put them back down on my main sheet tonight when I go back to the arena. This is actually the better way to do it, because it, you're done, you're finished, you put it away, then you go home, send your sound down, and get all that done. That's another half hour and you rest and then you get back up and you go. So when you go, your mind's pretty well locked in. And then we'll take a short, short 45 hour nap, uh, which is the hockey players and broadcasters delight. Uh, we'll get up, we'll shower and shave and put the monkey suit on and we'll look like a million dollars. <laughs> All right. So, All right, cold day in Pittsburgh, hey, Jimmy? <laughs> I come into the building back at 445. Right. When I come in, I will go to the press room or whatever location I can find, and I will just kind of go in seclusion for about 45 minutes. And what I'll do is I'll transfer my notes uh, that I took from the afternoon study session to a main page that I have uh, that I work off of. I've worked off the same page for many, many, many years. I put the information down, and that's my little Bible for the night. It's pretty simple. It's goals, penalties on either side. When I come back to the rink, I put most of this on. It takes about 45, 50 minutes. So. And then whatever else I had going previous to that, being here at the rink and talking and interviews and things. So. But this is just a tedious work. This is to back you up in case you really don't know what the hell you're talking about. A lot of guys have computer things now, but I just find the simple way for me is to actually to remember a lot of it is to, to write it and transfer it. So. I do. And I can remember Harry Carey when I did baseball walking in and seeing things that I had written down and going, what's all this about? And he said, well, you gotta make sure you're prepared. Now for the long climb up the mountain. I take a deep breath and then I will hit the elevator and I'll go upstairs. Okay, here we go. This is my man. This is my color commentator. A brand new suit on. Wow. I'll do the best for you. Looking good. Nice Phil Bork. And then I will get ready to say it's a hockey night in Pittsburgh. Welcome, everybody, to the Mellon Arena tonight. The Penguins at home against the Buffalo Sabres. And it is a team the Penguins, uh, before it's all done, will have played three games in 25 days. Penguins make a, a change on the defensive end of it with uh, Hal Gill out of the lineup. And Lovejoy. Well, he's a right-handed shooting defenseman who has played well for the Baby Pens. Uh, down there, a plus 14 for them uh, through this part of the season. He went to Dartmouth College and also BC for a year, so uh, he'll bring some college experience here. And I liked him in training camp, Borky. I really was impressed with his play. In front of Mayer and a quick shot and a good save by Sabrin on Adam Mayer. Ben Lovejoy won his first ever shift in the National Hockey League. And the Sabres almost scored. Lord Stanley, get me the brandy. And those moments will be with me for the rest of my life. I mean, great, great moments.